Welcome to Miss Dana's Story Time. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom by Bill Martin Jr. and John Archambault. Illustrated by Lois Ellert. A told B and B told C, I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. Wee said D to E F G, I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom, will there be enough room? Here comes H of the coconut tree. And I and J and Tagalong K all on their way up the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom, will there be enough room? Look who's coming, L M N O P. And Q R S and T U V. Still more W and X Y Z. The whole alphabet up the oh no! Chicka chicka boom boom. Skit scat skadoodle doot, flip flop flee. Everybody running to the coconut tree. Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts hug their little dears, then dust their pants. Help us up! cried A B C. Next from the pile up skinned knee D and stubbed toe E and patched up F. Then comes G, all out of breath. H is tangled up with I. J and K are about to cry. L is knotted like a tie. M is looped. N is stooped. O is twisted alley oop. Skit, scat, skadoodle, doot, flip, flop, flee. Look who's coming, it's black eyed P. Q, R, S, and loose tooth T. Then U, V, W, wiggle, jiggle, free. Last to come, X, Y, Z and the sun goes down on the coconut tree. But, chicka chicka boom boom, look, there's a full moon. A is out of bed and this is what he said. Dare, double dare, you can't catch me. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom. And there's all the letters. I bet you can say them yourself. The end. If you give a mouse a cookie by Laura Joffe Numeroff. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, He'll probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, He'll want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. He may even end up washing the floors as well. 
When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. <sighs> You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. So, you'll read to him from one of your books and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. He'll draw a picture. This is one of my favorite pages in this book. I love how he's on that big piece of paper. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name. Every artist should sign his name with a pen. Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that he's thirsty. So, he'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, he's going to want a cookie to go with it. How do you think that boy is feeling right now? Tell someone that's near you all about that, what you think he feels like. See you next time. Dragons Love Tacos by Adam Rubin. Hey kid, did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? But wait! As much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ears smoke. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when the dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. Tomatoes, check. Lettuce, check. Cheese, check. These are all good toppings for tacos for dragons. Hey dragon, how do you feel about spicy taco toppings? What do you think he's feeling? Dragons love parties. They like costume parties and pool parties. They like big, gigantic parties with accordions. Can you point to the accordion? And tiny little parties with charades. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of a good friend's laughter. The only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos, pant loads of tacos, 
the best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, dragons love tacos. Hey dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? Just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. These dragons love your taco party. They love the music. They love the decorations. They especially love the tacos. Congratulations! It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy... Wait a second. What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print? Totally mild salsa. Now with spicy jalapeno peppers. Uh-oh, what's going to happen? Dragons, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa, those are jalapeno peppers. They are super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you are not gonna love those tacos. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Too late. Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. The way to a dragon's heart is always through his stomach. The end. Thanks for reading with me. See you next time.